Welcome to the Potter Blog site, September 5th, 2013. The Chinese have published an herbal treatment protocol for the H7N9 bird flu. Something you might want to copy down because uh, you can expect the FDA to try to repress this kind of information uh, once they decide to uh, start scaring people about the H7N9 bird flu. Now, uh, the traditional Chinese medicine treatment for the H7N9 bird flu uh, can be found in the Journal of Thoracic Disease. This is a journal listed on PubMed. Uh, the journal is the, let me zoom this up, just so you know who these people are. It is, the journal is the official publication of the Guangzhou Institute of Respiratory Disease, China State Key Laboratory of Respiratory Disease, the first affiliated hospital of Guangzhou Medical College, and the Society for Thoracic Disease. So here's the article. Uh, again, you can find this in PubMed, and we have links on our site. It's uh, the guideline on prevention and control of H7N9 avian influenza human infection. And this is very detailed. It covers everything from uh, infection control, uh, differential diagnosis, whole nine yards. Uh, it goes into quite some detail. Now, the one thing that sets this document aside from something you might see generated in the United States is that this document actually includes information on the herbal treatment of H7N9 using uh, traditional Chinese medicine. I'll zoom in here just a little bit. And uh, if you look at the first part of this uh, listing uh, regarding treatment, uh, they actually list the first they list the uh, Western treatments. Um, You know, antiviral medications, dosages, how to deliver them, uh, what medicines don't work. And then here they list traditional Chinese medicine. And they give the, uh, the type of descriptions, the qualitative type of descriptions one would expect from Chinese medicine. And uh, they give recommended prescriptions uh, based on empirical evidence of what they've seen over thousands of years. Um, you know, the, the qualitative nature of these descriptions of how this stuff works is a little bit different than Western medicine. Actually, it's a lot different than Western medicine. Western medicine, the description of efficacy tends to be more quantitative until you get down to a certain granularity and then it gets to a point where it's qualitative also because at that point they also don't know how stuff works. But uh, here's uh, one of the key listings uh, for the symptoms, and this is H7N9 specific. Uh, symptoms, fever, cough with little phlegm, headache, muscle, and joint pain. Treatment, clearing away heat and dispersing lung. Uh, recommended prescriptions, mulberry leaves, honeysuckle, for Scythia. Now, this one jumped out of us on this list. Uh, if you've seen the uh, CDC's propaganda movie, uh, Contagion. It's basically a, a World War II type propaganda movie designed to uh, uh, raise budget for the uh, CDC. Uh, they make for Scythia the evil herb uh, that leads the infected masses astray from proper treatment. Uh, but uh, in the case of H7 to 9, it's only the third ingredient listed in this uh, tea. The uh, first one is mulberry leaves and then honeysuckle. And uh, Basically, what it appears to say is you take all these things, uh, you cook them up into a witch's brew, and you take them every four to six hours. And if there's severe cough, then you can add these other things. And then uh, they have a second one here for retention of epidemic toxin in the lung shock, where, again, they give uh, additional treatments, uh, mixed fried ephedra, fried almonds, ginseng, 
all sorts of things. Uh, type of information FDA really does not like getting out there and uh, type of thing they try to suppress and even arrest people for um, a la in the movie Contagion uh, that type of arrest happened uh, lots of nasty letters were sent out during the H1N1 uh, pandemic scare in 2009 related to herbal treatments so if this information is of interest to you it's the type of thing you want to uh, copy down uh, we've given some detail here on our website uh, uh, link to this information but uh, you know frankly we're not sure what's worse taking an experimental emergency use authorized H7N9 vaccine of dubious efficacy laced with risky adjuvants or taking herbal products sourced from China but one thing we are sure of is that when the government starts promoting a H7N9 panic the FDA will ban this sort of information and attempt to arrest anyone not capitulating to it so Enjoy your mulberry tea while you still can.